Leaving your baby to return to work is challenging enough, but what can be even more difficult is leaving a newborn behind for days, weeks, even months in intensive care. Dr. Joe shows us how one hospital is helping local parents feel like they're, they've never left their preemie's crib, even when they are actually miles away. This cuddly bundle of joy has spent the last eight days here at the Medical Center of Trinity's Neonatal Intensive Care Unit. He's doing great now, but Dad Robert Lagana says his tiny life didn't start out that way. We went through a very tough time. Uh, we got very close to losing both of them. During delivery, mom Rosa Perez's placenta ruptured, cutting off baby Robert's oxygen. He was born a month early, and instead of landing in his mother's arms, he was sent to the NICU. From what I remember waking up and everything, that I was asking when I could go see him. Like, well, you can't go see him yet. And I was really devastated, and then he showed me on his phone like, well, you can watch him with this app. That app, called NICVIEW, allowed Rosa to see her baby for the first time. Butterflies in your stomach and all. A feeling IT director Kurt Hornig understands. Fifteen years ago, my son was born eight weeks early. For eight weeks, we had to drive back and forth, so it would have been great to have this technology. The system is secure and allows parents to share a unique login with family or friends. It's very safe. There's nothing that can hurt the babies. There's nothing that can get out. Lynn Smith heads up neonatal services. She says this one-way video stream has two-way benefits to both parents and staff. It'll allow the nurses to feel comfort that they know that the moms are reassured with the care that they're giving. And it gives parents some special moments to remember. He has like this thing where he sticks out his tongue, like just little things that you see, you notice and everything with the camera and everything, we're viewing every little thing he does. Now as mom and dad are eating lunch in the cafeteria, they're watching baby Robert undergo car seat testing to make sure he's strong enough to go home today. But saying goodbye to the hospital also means separating from the technology that's connected them around the clock. It'll be a little tougher, yes. He'll probably yes. call me like 50 times a day saying, <laughs> okay, how is he? Oh, what is he doing now? Send me pictures because he can't That's see the much. live camera. <laughs> now, Trinity's NICVIEW went online last week, making it the third hospital in Florida to get that technology. Nurses can also send pre-programmed messages to parents like, I just got a bath or I just got fed. And there is also a way, Linda, for the parents to respond back. I think that is just great. I, I can totally understand how much better parents would feel if they could just keep an eye on the baby. Absolutely. Thanks, Dr. Joe.